defeated everyone, you know, in your path. Now it's like you're going to be obviously your biggest challenge to date. I can't imagine whoever's going to have the belt is thinking about having to play this guy. He's got two defenses already this year, and he's two away from tying Alex Damon's record. So it's not revenge we're seeking out because he beat Whiteley, but we will return and take him down. I have full faith in Dim Alonso. It's happening. And I hope that this tournament has showed everybody out there, Drenkon's a whole separate game. I'm here to play Schmodown. Schmodown, the ultimate Schmodown singles tournament. It keeps moving. What a tournament it's been thus far. And Mark Ellis, I am very excited about today's match. We have James the Jet White from Corruption going up against the Cherry Bomb, Brittany Young. And both of these competitors looking, this is a big win for whoever whoever pulls it out here today because you look at Brittany, she's two and one. James right now, one and two. They both need this match because the question is, who is going to have a run? Who is going to push themselves forward inside of the Schmodown and become the next Schmodown star? That's a great question. And I think one of these competitors might be able to answer it in this very tournament, Christian, because you look at Young and you look at White. They've displayed a breadth of knowledge in a variety of categories in their career so far in the Schmodown. They are threats for sure, but one of them feels like it's going to be gets a win, gets primed, and goes on a deep tournament run. We know they both have the game to do it. It's just a matter of if it's going to be the Jet or if it's going to be Cherry Bomb. Jet and Cherry Bomb, two famous rock bands. Cherry Bomb, obviously fictional from Howard the Duck, but still, they both know how to rock. Which one is going to roll to the next round? Yeah, it's, and it's two different stories, right? Because you look at uh, James White. He was the number one draft pick by Robert Meyer Burnett last season in, in 2020, and he had one victory. One defeat, wind up losing to William Bibiani. Obviously, no shame in that in last year's tournament. And then the beginning of this season, lost to Paul Preston and has really had a chance to get back in there. So this is his opportunity to say, no, no, no. That hype that was on me last se last season, it's real. Here I go. And Brittany Young, on the other hand, she, she was with Kaiser last year. Kaiser promised, you're coming to the dungeon. You're coming to the dungeon. Well, Roxy said, screw you, Kaiser. You want to go ahead and you want to make that move and you think you're going to be smart and take Jericho? I'm taking the cherry bomb and it's worked out. It's an impressive career so far what Brittany Young's been able to do and I think that she is a great fit for the stars yeah. but when you look at James White I also think that the tutelage of Shannon Barney is going to show up a little bit more today you're going to see a little bit more of corruption than maybe you were previously exposed to with James White not just with his gameplay but just with his overall attitude with his focus who is going to take the trophy here today but we don't really give out trophies for first round wins but somebody's going to move on to the next round for a look as to how we got here check this out You know, I feel great. Comfy Wi-Fi, comfy couch. I mean, I'm just here to make friends and win and have a good time. You know, same old from Cherry Bomb. It is never in your best interest to TKO a member of Corruption because while you may go to your little corner and toot your horn for the day, Corruption reassembles and we go back to the drawing board and we figure out the best way to exact our revenge. It's tournament season, and if there's two things that corruption does really, really well, it's piss people off and win tournaments. And that second part begins right now. It's your girl, Brittany Cherry Bomb. Yum! Can I do my own intro on a tape? Is that cool? Probably not. I really like Brittany Young, Cherry Bomb. She's really good. I've enjoyed watching her play. James White, I think, came in with a lot of hype. He lost to Paul Preston. Uh, and that was the that's last it. time I think we saw him. There's no place to go but up here. I will get anybody that stands in my way. Beware, because corruption is coming for you. Look where we were last year, and then look where we finished. It's tournament time. You guys had a really good match last time, hoping to have a really good match this time, looking to finally get that hug from Shannon. Brittany Young, you're great. You're so sweet. I loved you in Glow but it's a whole lot easier to win your matches when they're written into your script. Brittany Young is cute and sweet, like a Care Bear. 
But James White is more like that one bear in Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins' movie The Edge. Bloodthirsty and going for the kill. I mean, I know she set this up because she wants to hug me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen, but I'm so excited. Trying to take the stars deep into the tournament. So deep to the stratosphere deep. Because we're stars. Science. I do favor him against Brittany Young, but Brittany Young has surprised me in the past. You've proven that you're a good competitor. But with this tournament, it's time for the jet to take off and the cherry bomb to be extinguished. Get a W for the stars, go through the tournament. I don't know, guys, I might see a belt in my future. It would look pretty good. Just saying, I like gold things. Guys, it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. funny when you look at that you realize that corruption has a a settled a score with Brittany young as she took out claudia dolph so anytime you get the queen mad it can either you know it could be a bad thing or a good thing it depends what kind of headspace is she and she's is she just looking for revenge and what's her strategy you've been like to tell james white on what to do and roxy stryer and shannon have had that dance back and forth Brittany young is playing at a at a pretty good level right now so it's going to be an interesting match. Uh, we'll see if James White has not had the same luck that he's had had in the fan leagues here, but that all could change. Ultimate Showdown has made careers like that. We'll see what happens today. Yeah, and just for me, I, I fear an angry queen of corruption. I prefer her to be as benevolent as you could possibly be, being the leader of that faction. But I know who doesn't worry about Shannon Barney, and that's Roxy Stryer. I think she relishes the challenge of one-upping her in between rounds. And then, as far as the rounds themselves go, well, we'll see what the wheel wants to give each one of these competitors in round two. It might come down to that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. I introducing first representing corruption with a record of one win two defeats he is James the Jet White James the Jet White James as I mentioned before you know, you had that start with Paul Preston. It didn't go your way, and it's just you've had to watch other people playing in singles. The division's kind of gone on, but you did you know that the ultimate Shmodown was going to be your chance to get back into this thing? Yeah, absolutely, because when you look at a faction that's as deep as corruption, I knew we were going to have people challenging for belts. So I knew that I would have a chance in this tournament because I knew we would have people going after those number one contender spots and my time would come in this. Um, I'm ready to take the reins of all the great players that have come before me this season in corruption and keep this streak going on that we've been going on for the last couple of months. Yeah, when you talk about streaks, James, unfortunately you're on a two game losing streak. Now our beloved Orioles would kill to have a streak that short, but you now find yourself at the dawn of a new era where you have an opportunity to get a bunch of wins in a row here in the tournament. What is it about the tournament setting that you feel is gonna bring out the best in your game? Um, look, there's there's no days off in the tournament. You get a win, you're right back at it. You're right back at it, you're right back at it. Um, so you, you get a little bit of momentum and you can just snowball that into victory after victory. And that's what I'm looking to do today. I, I'm sorry, Brittany's gotta be in the way this first round, but I gotta push through her and then just get that snowball rolling down the hill and who knows what's gonna happen. Speaking of Brittany Young, you know, she she did hand you guys a, a TKO loss um, recently. So has that been addressed at all uh, in preparation or is it doesn't matter who's in front of you, you just got to win this match? I mean, it's it's a little of both. It doesn't matter who's in front of me, but obviously with with Brittany taking out uh, one of one of my faction mates, there, there's a little bit of, of animosity there. There's a little bit of redemption that needs to be coming for me, and I'm going to look out for my teammates and try to get this done. All right. So, James, good luck to you. See you in a moment. And his opponent representing the stars with a record of two wins, one defeat, and one knockout. She is Brittany Carrybaum Young. Brittany Young, Hi, how are you? It's nice to see you. It's good to be back. It's a little nerve-wracking hearing you guys talk about 
our past matches here, like a little rumbling in the tummy a little bit. Well, look, you've deserved it at this point, right? You came into this thing in a exhibition match all those years ago for Glow, mm -hmm. and you, you were the standout in that match. And, and, and I remember very clearly, you said to me, you said, I want to do this more. And I said, absolutely, we'd love to have you. You played for Kaiser, you know, last year. And then what has it been like working with Roxy Stryer as your manager? I mean, it's been great. It's ridiculous how much of a family this faction is. Like the stars, we all have each other's backs. We're always willing to help each other out. But Roxy just really, what I love about her is she lets me play my game. She lets me do and study and work how I want to work, how it's going to work for me. And she's just there to, you know, hype me up, get me along. And it's just really, really comforting to come out here every time and be like, yes, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do the stars how I want to do it. So it's been great. Even a normal run of the mill Schmodown match might get the tummies rumbling a little bit, but the butterflies therein really get flapping during tournament season. So what does the prospect of going on a deep run in this tournament do for you, do for your excitement level? Have you and your manager talked about that at all? Because now it's win or go home, but if you win, you get to go to the next round. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're hoping for a deep run here, trying to take the stars to the limits, to the sky. But also, you know, it's one game at a time. It doesn't change how I go at this game. It's just another game right now. It happens to be a tournament, but I'm going to play this like I played the last one, played the one before, just trying to get the win, trying to get, you know, my faction where it needs to be. But I'm just ready to play, and that's how I'm going to move forward. And the last question for you, Brittany, is, you know, as I mentioned, you know, you defeated Clee Wiggins, corruption and you know how much they like to talk so with shannon is it is it almost like a hey we already defeated you once we'll do it again or is it the same thing it's just let's just focus on what we're doing here today and put corruption in the rear view i mean corruption likes to talk but i think i may have softened them last time i think shannon was going to accept a hug from me i don't know i feel like we're best buds now I think James and I could be best buds. I did get Klee on my side at the end. I don't know. I'm just here to make friends have fun every single game, no matter what. Love it. All right. Well, good luck to you, Brittany. We'll see you in just a moment. All right. So, Mark, our competitors have entered the virtual battlefield. What are the rules? Round number one. Look at the focus on those two noggins. The rules of round number one are as follows. Eight questions will emerge in round number one. These questions are asked to the field. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing in round number one. We'll ask the question. You have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever writing surface you prefer. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. Our mind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match, named for one of our favorite interns of all time, JTE. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you just want us to repeat the question, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge. You may utilize at any point throughout the three round match. We'll bring in managers, we'll deliberate to our heart's content, and it will ultimately be your manager that confirms and ratifies if said challenge is taking place. So Christian, they're locked, they're loaded, they're ready to go. Their tournament careers are about to matriculate further after you ask a question. Brittany, are you ready? Yes. James, are you ready? Ready to go. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one, question number one. We're gonna start with rom-coms. Who stars opposite Ben Stiller in the 2000s rom-com Along Came Polly as a free-spirited woman? who has a blind ferret as a pet. I did not know this. Apparently it's illegal to have pet ferrets in certain states. I did know that actually. Not that I tried to get one or know anyone that had one, but for Sounds some like you did. It's a random fact that I know. Five, four. Not buying it. Three, shut your mouth. Two, one, hands down. Hands up, please. We start with Brittany. Philip Seymour Hoffman with the best sweatpants in the biz, Jennifer Aniston. Yes, ma'am. And James. Jennifer Aniston. Tied up to one as we get to question two. Your next question is in the category of black cinema, and for a point it is, Queen Latifah plays the lead role of Gina Norris in this 2005 spinoff of the Barbershop franchise. Underrated franchise there. They got a, they got a lot of movies to their credit. Barbershop's a really funny movie. It's a good, it's, an, it's a, uh, it's a feel good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Hands up. We start with James. Beauty shop. Yes. And Brittany. I have the beauty shop. 
Mark, what's we'll your take, rule? We'll take it. That is a that, that is a correct answer in my assumption. It All is right. the beauty shop. I mean, there's many beauty shops, but that's the one. All right, so two two as we get to the third question. All right, here we go. Question three. Directors, which acclaimed filmmaker directed Cary Grant in the 1941 film Suspicion? We do have a we do have a wait that we'll get to the challenge after we already asked this question. So we'll let competitors go ahead and start it. The wait did come in before the question and finished. Asked four, three, two, one, pens down, and we start with Britain. Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock. Yes, and James. Yeah, it's Alfred Hitchcock. Got it. All right. Please don't challenge. So here's what happened, kids, is that we had a manager try to chime in, say, wait. The question had maybe started to be asked, but the Internet's been acting slow for a couple folks here today. And so we are going to honor the challenge. If Shannon Barney does want to challenge, we will bring managers in now. All right. So challenge. Uh, Okay. Is there going to be a challenge on the table here? Yeah. um, It's just it's not. a a petty challenge. There are two movies. Um, There is Beauty Shop starring Queen Latifah, but there is also The Beauty Shop, which is a 1922 movie that had a release um, May 14th. And those are two different movies. So it's not a semantics thing. It's that there is a movie that exists that is called The Beauty Shop. Official challenge? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Rox, you want to counter? Number one, the challenge came in late. Number two, she had to. The challenge to look did not up. come in late. The challenge did not come in late. It was typed in the private chat. We just didn't get a chance well, to see it. Based on the rule book. Okay. Number two, uh, she. we know that by benefit of the doubt, if it's a the, a, and obviously she wasn't mistaking it with the 1922 film. And also, as managers, we're not allowed to look things up. And I believe that Shannon did just look that up. That's what we've been told. Well, the, the not looking stuff up is not... That's, that's not a thing. That's, that's what thing. we've been told. We're hands up, not allowed to look things up. Less, so that's what, under the premise I've been playing. But also, she's not confusing it with the 1922 Hitchcock movie and Benefit of the Doubt for all, right. all those reasons. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to convey and we'll be right, we'll be right back. All right. We're back from the challenge and we have the combination and the ruling is as follows. Brittany Young answered the beauty shop when the correct answer was beauty shop. In normal circumstances, that displays an overwhelming knowledge of the film that we were asking about. However, there is another movie called The Beauty Shop and time and space do not matter as far as when that movie was released. Even if it was as far back as 1920 rule, the rule book does state that if it's the beauty shop versus beauty shop, we have to take the exact verbiage for the correct answer. That is unfortunately the case here. And so we cannot award the point to Brittany Young for saying the beauty shop. It's a tough way to go, but that's how the rule book states it. Okay, thanks guys. All right, Mark. So now we get to question four. That's you, buddy. I know. I'm reading it. It's a really good question. It's spy movies is the category and the question. Charlize Theron stars as Lorraine Broughton, a top-level MI6 field agent in what 2017 film from director David Leach? It's always a question as to these early challenges. How do the competitors rebound from it? Both competitors. It doesn't matter who got the ruling in their favor. It's, It's a pause in the game, and it has an effect. Five, it's momentum. Four. Well, talking about it Three. is really helping. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> One. Ben's down. Great. And, uh, please, and we start with James White. Atomic Blonde. Yes, and Brittany. Atomic Blonde. Did we just see the heel turn of Brittany Young? All right, here we go. <laughs> Never. <laughs> now we get to the next question. This is question five. The 2000s. The 2000s. Ryan Gosling. Rachel McAdams and James Garner star in this 2004 film based on a novel by Nicholas Sparks. Who is your boy? Who is my boy? Uh, the dude? No, 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 no. Nicholas Sparks is. Oh, is he? Yeah. I didn't think we were that tight, so we lost touch. Five, four, three. You go to FSU? Two, no, one. Pens down. 
hands up, please. And now we start with Brittany Young. The notebook. <laughs> yes. Okay. And James. It's not just notebook, but the notebook. <laughs> There you go. So that, that's a, that's actually a great idea. If you would put notebook, probably would not have accepted. <laughs> All right. So here's the next question. Yeah, but we give you two points for the joke. Yeah. Uh, speaking of jokes, our next category is comedies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those laughs. Your question for a point. What 2018 comedy film features supporting turns from Lamorne Morris, Michael C. Hall, Kyle Chandler, and Jesse Plemons? I got to tell you that I am obsessed with my new uh, possession that I bought, Marcus painting. Your dog? No, the dog too, but the painting. Just can't you like the painting more than the dog, don't you? It's close. Five, four, three, <sighs> two, four, dude. one. Pens down, and we start here with James White. Game night. Yes, Brittany. Game night. All right, so right now, it is now 6-5. He's down 6-5. Good call, PJ. All right, 6-5 at the moment. And now question seven, fantasy sci-fi. Which 2010s sci-fi film features supporting performances from Jessica Chastain, Ellen Burstyn, and Topher Grace? Also known as Mark Ellis. Yeah, we met at Chipotle. We had the same order. We took a picture afterwards. Twins. And then people reversed the bodies. Do you remember that? Five. Four, three. Can you repeat? First one. Here it is. What 2010s sci fi film features supporting performances from Jessica Chastain, Ellen Burstyn, and Topher Grace? That's the first one. Brittany. Five, four, three. Two, one. Repeat the question. All right. I can give it the honor of that. So we get now. Here it is. What 2010s sci fi film features supporting performances from Jessica Chastain, Ellen Burstyn, and Topher Grace? I thought Boyd had already written his answer down, but both competitors a little stumped by this curveball. People wondering the digital would give people a little bit of a leeway. Five, four, Three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we're going to start here, Brittany Young. Is there a movie called The Huntsman? That is incorrect. There is a movie, but is that's not the, the correct answer. And James. Interstellar. Correct. James White wow. takes that nice. time and hits it. And he takes his time and hits that. That was a great usage of the JTE. All right, here we go. Here's the last question in round number two. James White working on a perfect round right now because of that pull. Yeah, and for everyone at home, I don't remember myself being an interstellar either. Your final question in round number one is in the category of new releases. And the question, The Devil Made Me Do It is the third film in what horror series starring Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson? Right now, The Jet with a Two point lead looking to try to get a perfect round here. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Hands up, please. And James. The Conjuring. Perfect round for James and for Brittany. The Conjuring. Brittany having a good round herself, though. Eight, six. But now James White will get the bonus question. This is for him and only him. James, when you're ready. Which actor? appears in the films The Last Temptation of Christ, Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me, and Zoolander. That is Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me as one. Five, four, three, two, Kyle one. McLaughlin. For David Bowie. David oh, Bowie. yeah. David Bowie. All right. <laughs> So, James White keeps a two-point lead here, 8-6, hits all eight, misses the bonus. Brittany Young hits two, excuse me, hits uh, six questions and finds herself down by two going into round number two, Mark. What are the rules of the second round? Two-run ball game entering round two, and it is the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. Each competitor gets a spin at that third wheel once. You settle on a category. Four questions will emerge from that particular round. 
Each question's worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing, it's available in round number two. And so if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice. We have four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question recedes to one. JTE rules still in effect. And it's James White. Perfect round. Missed the bonus question, but maybe you're not thinking about Rebel Rebel at the time. So, James, would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? Uh, I think I'm going to spin first. All right. So with that, we're going to drop out Brittany and bring in Shannon. All right, Shannon, 60 seconds starting now. Excellent. First round. You are so locked and loaded, and I love to see it. I'm so glad to see you back. You deserve the second chance to be here. We're going to take Thank advantage you. of it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this round, too. Um, look, I, I trusted you, and I trusted my gut on that answer. I had Interstellar written down. I was second-guessing myself. <laughs> went to the repeat. Trusted my mm -hmm. gut. Stuck with it. Um, there you but go. I'm ready to, uh, you I'm ready to knock this second round out. Um, let's let's yep. get a nice lead. Let's do it. Let's get that All wheel right. up. All right, the wheel. Here it is. And here's James White to spin. We're always trusting our guts. Every single question, every single answer. It's not going to be opponent's choice this time, Christian. It's John Hughes. So you got 60 seconds to decide if you want to stay with John Hughes starting now. Yep. So James, risk versus reward. It's pretty evident to me that this is her slice. She's used it a lot and she has swept it. So mm -hmm. we take this. We run the risk of if we drop the ball, she's going to pick it up. Yeah, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. How confident are you in John Hughes? I'm some fairly of those questions confident. Are deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident in John Hughes, but you know they can dig deep with this, um, with this specific of a category. Um, it's also kind of a baller move to take it off the board for her. Uh, I mean, I how too. confident are you? How confident yeah. are you? You have multiple choice. You have two repeats. I mean, yeah. if you want to go for it, now's the time to go for it. So. Tell me what I, your gut says to do. Look, I, I would love to take John Hughes right now, but I think that there's just better for me on the board. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I, I think spinning again would be would be a better choice, even though I would love to take that off the wheel for her. But if I land on it again, I'm perfectly fine with it. All right, then let's give that baby another spin. All right, so here's the spin. James White spinning away from John. Good spin. And Tempting here fate. Is the spin by James White, and we're gonna land on Disney, it looks like. Oh, her other slice. Oh, yeah. You got this. Take your time. Okay, so Brittany and James are back. James, you chose, or excuse me, you spun Disney, and you get four questions in the realm of Disney. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Which Disney animated film has the songs Two Worlds, A Wondrous Place, and Son of Man in its soundtrack? Tarzan. For two points. What famous singer narrates the Sleepy Hollow segment in the film The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad? Bing Crosby. For two more points. Woo! Big get by James White. And here's the next. What live action Disney film stars Alexis Bedell? about a young woman who falls in love with a young man who is from a family of immortals. Five. Multiple choice. Is it A, Bridge to Terab Terabithia, B, Ella Enchanted, C, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, D, Tuck Everlasting? Tuck everlasting. For one point. James White having a pretty good round, too. Yep. And here is the last one. In what classic 1950s era animated Disney film does the main villain shoot and apparently kill a man who is singing an annoying song? Five. Four, three, two. Multiple choice. Is it A, Pinocchio, B, The Adventures of Ichabod, Ichabod and Mr. Toad, C, Peter Pan, D, 101 Dalmatians? Peter Pan. Or one more point. So James Ooh. has a great round there. 
Goes to multiple choice twice, but still ha does not give up any steals and finds himself now up by eight, 14, six. As now Brittany Young will talk to Roxy Strike. All right, Roxy, you got 60 seconds starting now. We know he's good at Disney, so he just did fine. And we knew he was going to do fine if he, if based on that wheel, he spun Disney. Yeah. I'm really super duper not impressed by who I have now deemed as generic James. He's just generic. And you are not. You are cherry bomb for a reason. You're awesome. Let's not kick ourselves over one word like the. Let's mm. take this wheel and let's make it our word that I can't say on this show right now. Because honestly, we're not going to be sitting here afterwards thinking, oh, that does what did us in. Let's yeah. spin the wheel, see what we get. I'm so proud of you so far. Way to stay in this game. Uh, more than stay in this game. And let's see how round two treats us. But I'm feeling good right now, Brittany. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I mean, that's the thing with Schmodown. One day you get a perfect game. The next day you might not know nothing. So it's all about fun. I'm having fun so far. So There's no I day that you know nothing. There's no day you know not, nothing. Brittany, no. you're, you are better than you have any idea that you are. You are so good at this. And we're going to spin right, this and prove right. that to the people. Let's all spin right. the wheel. Thank you, guys. And now here's the wheel. And spin is in by Brittany Young. There's many days that I don't know anything. John Snow. The 2000s, the 2000s. All right, 60 seconds to decide. Really broad category uh, yeah. where anything can come up, but also you watched a lot of movies here. So how are you feeling? I mean, it is really broad. I feel all right with it if I need it, but ugh. The most recent time this was spun, of the four questions, three were pretty easy and one was a deep cut that I think you could have gotten on multiple choice. You never know what they're gonna do here, yeah. but I think that probably there will be two softballs, one medium and something a little more difficult. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I had to take it, I, I feel fine with it, but I also, yeah, I feel like maybe there's other ones on here, but. Okay. I think I want you to feel good about this. So let's respin because we know there's nothing yeah. on here that's like a landmine for you. So let's yeah. spin and see how we go. Spin the wheel. All right, here it is. So whatever Brittany gets here, she's going to be answering. Yeah, she will, Christian. Four questions. Yeah. Here we go. And it is courtroom dramas, legal. Great. Right. Multiple choice if you need it, but you got this, girl. All right, Mark. So Brittany Young has courtroom drama, legal thrillers. Here is the first question. In the words of every judge in every movie ever, I'll allow it. Two points unless you need multiple choice. Brittany, your first of four questions in the category of courtroom dramas and legal thrillers. Who starred as the lead role Jim Garrison in 1991's JFK? Kevin Costner. Is correct for two points. And Brittany on the answering train here in round number two. We continue with your questioning, counsel. And it is. Which actress plays the character Eva Ansley in the film Just Mercy? Five. Four. Multiple choice. All right, your four options for a point. Is it A, Tessa Thompson, B, Karen Gillan, C, Zoe Saldana, or D, Brie Larson? Five, four. Tessa Thompson? It's incorrect. So for a one point steal, James White, I'm gonna repeat the question of the options. Which actress plays the character Eva Ansley in the film Just Mercy? Your multiple choice options for a point. Is it A, Tessa Thompson, B, Karen Gillan, C, Zoe Saldana, or D, Brie Larson? Brie Larson. Captain Marvell is the correct answer for a big one point steal. So it's 15 to eight in favor of White right now. He's got a seven point advantage, but we go back to Brittany Young for two more points, possibly in the category of courtroom dramas and legal thrillers. Your penultimate question, George Clooney stars as a fixer who works for a prominent law firm in what 2000s legal thriller? Five. Multiple choice. Four. All right, your four options for a point. 
Is it A, burn after reading, B, Michael Clayton, C, Siriana, or D, good night and good luck? Michael Clayton. Not to be confused with Mark Clayton, the great Dolphins receiver. That is correct for a point. And Brittany Young avoids another big steal opportunity for James White there. It's 15 to nine. She can cut the lead to four. She hits this last question in the category of courtroom dramas and legal thrillers. Brittany, for two points, what 1990s legal thriller is known for the line, yes, they deserved to die, and I hope they burn in hell? Five, four. Full choice. Multiple choice, your four options. Is it A, a time to kill? B, the client? C, the gingerbread man? Or D, night falls on Manhattan? The client? Client's incorrect. And so for another one point steal, James White, your question and options. What 1990s legal thriller is known for the line, yes, they deserve to die and I hope they burn in hell? Is it A, a time to kill? Be the client, Steve the Gingerbread Man, or D, Night Falls on Manhattan. One of the best Sam Jackson lines ever, A Time to Kill. I could have put more gusto in it, but it might have given away the answer. That is correct for a point, and James White with an impressive round two on both accounts, Christian. He had a nice round in Disney, then he also got a couple steals from Brittany Young. It's 16 to 9. Young trails by 7 as we head into round 3. Yeah, we've seen it happen before that comebacks have happened with seven points. Perry Nemiroff, obviously famous for doing it. But at the moment, James White, 16-9 going into the third and final round. This is how it works. It's around the will determine the match. Unless we go to sudden death overtime. How we do round three is we need some help from each competitor. This help arrives in the form of a series of numbers. We need Numbers from each of you, three in total. They may range from one to 20. You may not pick the same numerals as your opponent as each integer corresponds to a unique category of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Your first question's worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. Your final question is worth five big points. 10 points available to each competitor in round three. Again, no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number three. James White, you have a seven point lead, so you have the luxury of giving us your three lucky numbers first. Please make them whole numbers. Which three feel fortunate? Uh, let's go with uh, 12, four, and eight. 12, four, and eight it is. They're attractive numbers. I would say attractive, maybe not sexy. Uh, Brittany Young, do you have some sexy numbers to give us? Let's go two, three, five. Two, three, and five it is. And right now for a talk with his manager, we're gonna drop Brittany out and bring back Shannon Barney from Corruption. This is why you belong here, James. Do you see what you're doing here today? She can call you generic all she wants, but when you get that win, you're gonna be a really generic winner. And sometimes being flashy isn't exactly the most important part of this game. So you sit back, you relax, and you watch Brittany try to get out from this hole that she's dug herself. Okay. Look, she, she can call me generic all she wants. All I am right now is focused. I'm exactly. focused. I'm just locked in. Look, we, we know what we're doing here. You know, it's corruption, baby. I'm just locked in right now. I'm going to get this W and then we're going to go party afterwards. Hell yeah, you are. That's exactly right. Now, we're not going to get cocky, though, because she nope. could pull this off. She could make us answer some questions here. So you need to stay Absolutely. ready. Absolutely. No, right? Brittany's, a, Brittany's a damn good competitor. I'm not taking her for granted whatsoever. So I'm ready she's to go. All, she's all right. She's all right. I'm still not going to hug her, but like, she's okay. All right. Oh. Stay locked in. Stay focused. Here we go. This is your game. <laughs> is attractive numbers the generic brand of sexy numbers? Tell me I'm wrong. Like, I, how how is he proving my point for me? Uh, and also, what happened that Mark had to start saying that people need to pick whole numbers? I don't even want to watch that match. Brittany, listen, weirder things have happened. That was a tough round with tough questions, and you navigated it as best as you could. Here's what we have to do here. We either we we have to hit our five and then we have to either hit the two or the three to stay in this. That's what we have to do. So we do those things, we stay in the game, we don't do those things and we don't. I know that you have it in you to do that because you have done it before. So that's what we're gonna do right now. You're gonna listen to all the context clues. You're gonna use your JTEs, you have two of them left and you're gonna answer the question that's in front of you to the best of your ability. Uh, and I believe that you can do this. And like I said, I've been around a long time and I've seen crazier things happen in the Schmodown. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not worried. Again, like 
Their oh. whole vibe just two seconds ago just really brought me down. Trying to come back up. I mean, just having fun. I was also two years old when that movie came out with Samuel L. Jackson, so. Humble brag. Yep. And you picked really sexy numbers, and if his numbers want to be attractive, that's fine. Real He's sexy good. numbers. Let's make him um, a generic that. loser instead. How's that sound? I'm good. We yeah. got this. I'm good. Let's go, All Terry right. Bond. All right. So. Brittany will be going first. She's going to try to avoid the TKO here, Mark. And she chose category two. That gives her crime films. Crime movies. Movies about illegal stuff, which okay. neither one of us have ever been involved in. Your question, Brittany, for two points, could cut the lead to five. And the category of crime is in the film. Gone in 60 seconds. Which actress plays Sarah Wayland that helps Memphis steal cars? Five. Four. Angelina three. Jolie? It didn't sound all that confident of an answer, but it's correct nonetheless. <laughs> For two points, Christian, she pulled a James White Interstellar and got the points. She did. So now she has an opportunity to get some more points on the board with her three-point question, and she chose category three. And she has family films. Family Aww. films. Was that side because you've seen a lot of them recently? Yeah, huh? absolutely. Yeah. All right, Brittany Young, family films is the category. And this can become a really spicy ball game. You can cut the lead to two here if you hit this. And the question. Who plays scientist and inventor Wayne Zielinski in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Rick Moranis. She knew that one. Spokesperson for Mint Mobile. Now that is correct for three points, and it is just a two-point game. Here is where we stand. Brittany Young faced with a five-pointer. She's got to hit. If she hits it, she's going to force James White to answer some questions and avoid the TKO. If she misses, James the Jet White will advance in the tournament by way of technical knockout. That's right. If... Brittany hits it. She's going to have to have James answer some questions here. However, James will go on to play David Del Rio in round two if Brittany does not get this question right. All right. So Brittany chose category five, Mark. That mm -hmm. would be biopics. Biopics. Used to call them biopics until people got so mad that I had to change it. Biopics for five points. And your question. Brittany Young for the lead. Who won an Oscar for her performance in the film I, Tanya? Allison Janney. That felt like a curveball to me, but she knocked it out of the park. She avoids the TKO, and now it is Brittany Young in the lead over the Jet, James White. Yes, that's right. So right now, we see ourselves with 1916. So James White has to answer a few questions here. He chose category 12, category 12, Mark, and that gives him Oscar films, Oscar wow. films. We just had those, and now we have another question regarding the Oscars. James, you can cut the lead to one. The correct answer here. The category is Oscar movies, and the question, which Ben Affleck-directed film won? the Best Picture Oscar in 2013. Argo. Argo, F your... No, 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 we're not going to do that. We're just going to move on to the next question because that is correct, and it's just a one-point advantage for Young. James White now has a three-pointer. If he hits it, he will defeat Brittany Young and move on to face David Del Rio. That is right. If he hits his three-pointer, he will win. However, if he misses, he still has the five-pointer. So he chose category four, and that gives him thrillers. Which is what this match suddenly became, a thriller in its own right. And now James White, for the win, has a three-pointer. The category is thriller and the question. What screen legend played the lead role in The Russia House about a British publisher who unexpectedly finds himself working for British intelligence to investigate people in Russia. Hands up, please. Five, four, 
Three, two. Repeat the question. Second one. All right, the question. What screen legend played the lead role in The Russia House? About a British publisher who unexpectedly finds himself working for British intelligence to investigate people in Russia. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Last one. All right, the question. Categories thrillers. What screen legend played the lead role in The Russia House? About a British publisher who unexpectedly finds himself working for British intelligence to investigate people in Russia. James, we have both hands up. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. Five, four, three, two. Sean Connery. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, James the Jet. Who won? Man, made him. Game made him wait. A game. Yes. Absolutely. Towards cool. the end. James had the fight, uses all three JTEs, but he does it. James the Jet White defeats Brittany Young, but man, he had to earn it there. All right, congratulations, James. Big win. You're going to go on to play David Del Rio. Congratulations to Corruption. Three points. And you will be going on to talk to uh, Jen Sturger in just a moment. Crazy match because, like, he really, I mean, look, James White has done this in the past. Remember in, in last tournament, he was on the verge of getting knocked out by Frank Moran. And he did the same thing. He waited, he stopped, he used his JTEs, he thought about it, and he won that match. And he did the same thing because he was on the ropes here. Had he missed this three, he would have been forced to do that five. But Brittany Young puts up a hell of a fight there, fights back, it's all 10 points in the third, but James White takes the win. Corruption gets three points and advances to play David Del Rio. Yeah, Brittany Young answering any questions about round two, where it was just a tough spin for in a category she wasn't all that familiar with. She came back very well in round number three, forcing James the Jet White to the brink of elimination. And you can see from the exhaustion on James White's face that it, it, us Baltimore Orioles, we're just not used to winning. We're not sure how to handle it. And now he gets to go on in the tournament and face Diamond David Del Rio. And so for questions about how he's feeling now, and I'm sure some other fun stuff, we turn it over to the great Jen Sturger for an interview with both James and the Queen of Corruption, Shannon Barnes. Amazing victory today, guys. Uh, I have to say, that was one of the, I know we're not supposed to really comment on questions, so sorry, Christian. Oh, please do. Um, no, but I was going to say no, that I'm was a kidding. very, for, for at least for me, that was a very difficult three-point question. Uh, it may just be because it's just not the type of films that I'm typically watching. Um, but I got to say, how are you feeling after that match? Uh, I'm feeling exhausted. Um, <laughs> you know, Brit Brittany brought it in round three. I mean, she, she had to hit all three questions and she did. Um, yeah, that, that's that's pretty tough for a three. But I I just I'm thankful that I saw that movie last week. Not not watched it, but I was I was browsing my local library and I saw that movie. And I remembered staring at the box and uh, and just I was pretty sure it was Sean Connery. I just wanted to take my time and think about it and think about it and think about it. Um, but now I'm, I'm exhausted after that match. Um, it's it's incredible to be able to get the win. I look forward to moving on in this tournament. But but like I said, Brittany played her ass off there. I, I got to give my hat off to her because, uh, you know, she she could have really just kind of tucked her tail between her legs going into that third round. But she just really brought it really brought it. absolutely so last year you got to round two this year do you do it again do you feel like you're any more dialed in than you were last year in terms of where you're at performance wise oh absolutely look where i am this year versus where i was last year i'm in corruption versus with the den last year um it's it's night and day i've got shannon versus you know soccer mom kate i mean it's <laughs> not even close um i'll, t I'll take shannon and, and my teammates in corruption all day, any day. I know they have my back. They're going to get me prepared for this next match uh, more than anything. Um, I love them all to death. I appreciate all their help. So I have to say, when you hit Disney in that second round, were you a little bit nervous about that? Um, I was okay with Disney. You know, I, I'm 
that was a kid. I honestly have to say, I felt Mm. like, I know, but I felt like, honestly, I was like, oh, let's see how this goes. I think your opponents were a little surprised at how well you performed. And I'm sorry for ever doubting you because I may have been in that category as well. (laughs) You know, um, you know, I I might know a few things that that people don't think I know, which, which is perfectly fine. I'll let people underestimate me. If you want to put Disney on the wheel against me, that's fine. You want to put some other things on the wheel you, you think I might not know? Go ahead. It's, it's all going to be a surprise to you later. Shannon, how are you feeling about the Jets' performance today? And honestly, I, I have to give it to you as well. Uh, that challenge in round one was uh, was was pretty key in terms of maintaining the the energy of the match moving forward, in my opinion. Yeah, it was nice to have control of the situation. I'm I'm thrilled with how James performed. I mean, that's why we made sure we got him in the draft. It it's a shame that he fell as far as he did, and it's a shame that no one else picked him up. And and I mean. Everyone else out there knows it. Fans know it. They were like, what a steal. What a great job by Corruption for making sure they get this guy on their team. And he has delivered on all fronts. He has not had an easy match yet. He has not had a gimme match. He has not gotten his strength on the wheel. He has had to fight and claw tooth and nail for every little win he gets. So I'm I'm ecstatic for him. I, I'm not going to say I'm proud of him because I don't want to patronize him. I'm so freaking excited for him. He worked for that win. And I see what you guys tried to do there see what you guys tried to do there but didn't work did it didn't work good job good job to Brittany I suppose for getting out of the TKO I would have gotten out of that TKO but I digress so let's talk round two you're going to be facing David Del Rio who's playing honestly lights out right now so how do you prepare for an opponent that's playing honestly some of the best movie trivia that he's played since joining the league just gotta put the hours in I know that we're gonna have study sessions every single night if that's what it takes. Um, we're just gonna put in hour after hour worth of studying, make sure that I'm prepared. And I can't control what David Del Rio does. All I can do is control what I do, go in, play the best match that I can possibly play, let the chips fall with it. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to both of you uh, on a well-fought victory today and uh, best of luck in round two. Thank Thanks, you. Sir. James White does it, he defeats Brittany Young and it is, I mean, she definitely made him earn it there, as he said. She hits all 10 points. He hits a very difficult three-pointer, but advances. And there he is, Mark James the Jet White versus Diamond Del Rio. That's going to be a clash. That's going to be a really good round two matchup. It's going to be a great one. And, yeah, you talk about a tough three-pointer. A three-pointer is so tough. He had to go to his local library to find the answer. That's right, kids. You can still go to libraries, check out books, and or movie video jackets but when you look at his competitor today Brittany Young again showing more than just backbone showing the ability to go 12 rounds with just about anybody and stay in the fight that's what she was able to do in round number three and she almost pulled out the victory as a result so right now we're going to throw it back to Jen who's going to be talking with both Brittany Young and her star's manager Roxy's Tribe. Brittany always a pleasure to see you I hate that it's under these circumstances because I love the energy that you bring to this league on a consistent basis like I know I'm gonna have a good time regardless of how the match plays out when I know you're on my screen oh Um, good and I have to say I don't know that there are a lot of competitors out there that could have maintained the headspace that you did when you got into that round three and I don't know if that's just you know you're just beaming positivity or this rock star of a manager that you also have that just knows how to get the best out of her players? I mean, it's definitely both. I mean, I'm a movie fan first and foremost, and to sit here and listen to all these trivias and like finally have a space to like get the nerdiness out with <laughs> other my friends, like these are my people. Every faction, these are my people. So it's always fun to come in and play. And I mean, Roxy, like there's no better hype woman than Roxy. Like, I mean, come on, any any time. I could come in here and get zero and she'd still be like, you got this, you're on it. So it's a great space to be in. And I mean, like, oof, round three, it's 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 a tough round, but I mean, I did what I needed to do and geez, he pulled that deep dive out. I'm also a uh, card mayor member of the library. This would be hard. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how he got it, but it was a good, ge- it was a good game. Can't deny Roxy. it. Roxy, I can tell you're, uh, despite all of the positivity that Brittany exhumes, um, you still are a little disappointed right now. Not necessarily in in her performance, which is the outcome of the match. Yeah, I mean, I love Brittany. She's the easiest, most bundle of joy player to manage who just crushes it and gives it her all. And going into round three, 
What did I say? You're going to answer every question. You're going to go through this and we're going to send it back to him. And she did that. So what am I going to do? You know, she did everything she could do here. She answered every question she knew the answer to. And she did a great job. I'm also smiling because we get to leave here. A, not generic, very important. You know, we get to be the sexy team. And B, we don't have to go up against David Del Rio, who as much as I have all confidence that Brittany could beat, I have no confidence that generic James can beat because as an ex star, Del Rio is one heck of a player. Uh, and so that's going to be a fun match to watch him lose to. I forgot that. I'm like, honestly, that you had had that kind of experience with him. On, I feel like it's just because last season feels like an entirely different decade of our lives at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's talk a little bit more about Brittany. It's, it's crazy to me that, you know, obviously, Brittany, last season you were with the dungeon. They were stupid. They were stupid. They let you go. Uh, you that was stupid, Jen. That was stupid. You're right. You know, they let her go. You picked her up, Roxy. What was it about Brittany that that no, that convinced you she was part of the stars? Nobody needs convincing of like. Look at Brittany. Look, who doesn't? What manager in the league doesn't want Brittany? It was the the best accident that ever took place for me. Uh, obviously, I was peeved. I was pissed about the entire Jericho situation. But also talking to the people who were already on my faction, she was just the best player on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, she has so much credibility in this space and in this industry, but also she answers trivia questions like she's lights out. I mean, it, she's really, really good and has an amazing work ethic and positive attitude. So like, you know, win doesn't, a win doesn't make her cocky. A loss doesn't deter her. She just keeps going and she's an awesome player. So that's why I wanted her, Jen. And I was, I would make the same decision every time. Brittany, were you surprised a little bit at the difficulty of those round two questions? Because I, I feel like they, they kind of caught you off guard. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's all part of strategy. It's one of those things where it's like 2000s is so broad. I probably could have crushed it, but it's one of those things where it's like, if we can narrow it down, let's yeah. narrow it down. We just happened to narrow it down in a category that like I wasn't too confident in. But like, honestly, it's one of those things where... You know, I rather, rather, I rather. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you rather, girl. I rather walk out with one point. <laughs> but honestly, like, I rather go to multiple choice and walk out with one than walk away with none or let them steal two. So I'm really proud that I used the time and really thought about the questions instead of just trying to get something out there. Um, I love how I say I was literally two years old with Samuel Jackson when apparently I pulled out a movie from 1922 in the first round. <laughs> so that shouldn't have been a thing, but I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, some days you're going to know every question and some days you really are going to have no clue, but as long as you smile and play, it's always a good match. So, so now you're two seasons into the MTS. Do you feel like you're finally starting to get your footing? And then are you going to be back next season? Are you going to maybe pursue teams? Like, I mean, I like to be a little cocky, I felt like I had my footing in the celebrity match. Like, two yeah. Years. Like I said, like, it's this is my people. I have so much fun. And, you know, I watch Schmodown when I'm not on Schmodown. Like, that's a testament to what a great place this is. Um, I definitely want to come back next season, Roxy, get up on it. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to come back. I know Mark and I have talked about maybe me jumping on and doing a little commentary uh, with him. So I don't know. Maybe we do oh. that. Christian, maybe. I don't know. Um, but no, I will always in any way come back to Schmodown. However you guys will have me, player, guest, anything. I'm always here. I love everything about that. And this place is a better place with you here. So you. tough loss today, Brittany. But um, like I said, always a pleasure seeing your face regardless of the outcome. Thank you. Good, Thanks, good job, friend. James. I guess we'll be rooting for you. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> no. Sorry. Oh, mm. Roxy, if you can't say something nice. Oh, then end the interview. <laughs> uh, then get me off. Take care, guys. To no one's surprise, Roxy does not say anything nice about corruption, nor do I ever think she will. But uh, the, the nice words, deservedly so, to Brittany Young, the cherry bomb. And of, of course, we'll have her back. She'll We'll see her back in next season. Uh, whether it is on the desk, whether it is playing, whether it is in teams, uh, she will be back. She is. And I think that especially we've seen her in studio, Mark. I just feel that Brittany Young at a live event is something that I want to see. I think it's something the fans want to see. I mean, it, you know, this is someone who knows how to entertain crowds. I feel that Brittany Young at a live event is something that I want to pay a, a ticket to see tomorrow.
I feel like it's something the fans deserve. Brittany Young deserves it. And you and I would just be lucky enough to be there in person to witness the spectacle that would be Brittany Young at a live event. But the next event for James White is right around the corner. Diamond David Del Rio is his matchup in round number two. And that is going to be a steamy one. It's going to get hot. It's going to get humid. And it could come down to the five-pointer. That's just the way it goes in these Ultimate Schmodown tournament settings. It's going to be crazy because, as you see, there's some animosity for the Den with James White. There certainly is some for David Del Rio, even though the Den's not involved in that match. It's two former Den mates going after each other, uh, and we are going to see it very, very soon. The second round is right around the corner. What a bunch of great matches. If you missed any of the round one matches, please head on over uh, to the playlist. Check it out. Don't forget to do it. Join us on Patreon. If you haven't gotten tickets already, to the New York event on October 9th. Please do it. Head on over to the SchmodownLive.com on December 4th. The Schmodown Spectacular titles are going to be on the line, all of them. So make sure you get there. Downtown LA, the Globe, Los Angeles. Tickets available at SchmodownLive.com. Yeah, and grab some stand-up tickets. It's going to be around some of those events as well as other places I'll be at. MarkEllis.live. That's Christian Harloff. I'm Mark Ellis. Baby carrots and the Big Apple. It's so much produce, Christian. Get excited, kids, and we'll see you next time at the Movie Trivia Schmodown.